There are a few experiences that change our lives forever. One split second and life changes. That's uh, one of those stories we have for you now. May 2010, Rachel Friedman, she's horsing around with friends. She's at her bachelorette party, had a great night. About four weeks before her wedding, tragedy strikes. One of her friends playfully pushes her into the pool. It's happened to probably a lot of us. Well, she lands wrong, breaks her neck, and she's paralyzed from the chest down. But that paralysis is only physical. She's had a positive, giving spirit from the moment that that accident happened. She has inspired so many. Uh, by the way, the marriage went forth about a year later, and now there's a new book out. We're going to talk to her and her husband about it. Uh, the new book is called The Promise, A Tragic Accident, A Paralyzed Bride, and the Power of Love, Loyalty, and Friendship. Rachel Friedman and her husband Chris join me now. All right, and before we get to the book, guys, we got some... Uh, Brand spanking new information, new news. What's going on, Rachel? Well, we are actually in L.A. right now because Chris and I have decided it's, it's time and we, we want to start a family. And we're actually here to do IVF treatment um, because we've decided to move forward with surrogacy and, and have a baby. That's awesome. Congratulations on that. I mean, it just seems um, uh, life just continues to get better. Rachel, I'll, I'll start with you. I know, and you even were on this very network, I think, a couple of years ago, saying you always wanted to influence people, never thought it would be this way. Have you realized yeah. how many people you've inspired by your story and your fighting courageous spirit? I, I mean, yeah, it, it's been great because I've gotten a lot of letters through social media and my website, and I've actually started to blog for the Huffington Post. And <laughs> things that, I mean, those have been shared thousands of times, and so I've been given a voice and it's been awesome to be given that voice. Chris, you too. I mean, you are uh, love and unwavering love and commitment personified. You've inspired many yourself. <laughs> well, thank you so much for saying that. It's been uh, an amazing relationship since uh, the very beginning. And, uh, of course, these past few years have been quite a journey. Yeah, let me... Let's get into the book now. And it really it talks about, I think, as I said there, friendship, loyalty. But let's talk about your love story. And I'm going to read a quote. And this one, uh, it's an emotional quote. It says, my heart broke for him. I knew he was suffering badly, and it was bubbling up to the surface at that moment. Then he broke down and said, I just wish I had danced with you more. I'm really sorry, because now we can't. To that comes the question, I'll ask you. It's, it's not always easy, is it? I mean, you write a book, and you guys are influencing people. Um, but I'd imagine with all of us, life can be a challenge, right? Certainly. I mean, we, we have always tried to keep everything positive and, and make an influence. And, uh, but there, there are always those days that are tough. I mean, you just got to get up and keep moving forward. And Rach just uh, does the best to support me, and I do the best to uh, return the favor. Yeah, I just love your love story. And, Rachel, I love the friendship you have. And I know that there was an unspoken yeah agreement that the friend that pushed you, that name will never be revealed. And, and I want to go to your giving spirit. This is another quote from the book. And you can get the book. I mean, it's just awesome. I couldn't put it down. <laughs> what I remember clearly was the reaction of my friend who had playfully pushed me. She kept apologizing. And in that moment, I knew she would carry a huge amount of guilt, and I didn't want her to live with that. And I told her right there, as I was waiting for the EMS to arrive, that it would be okay. And I comforted her, even though I was scared myself. Even in that moment, I knew it was important to do so. How did you have that wherewithal? You were in the midst of a life-changing accident, and you knew you got to comfort your friend. I, I don't really know how to explain it. I mean, you, you never know what you're going to do until you're in that situation. And um, I could just tell that we had both been hurt right then, that we were both hurting. And I, I just wanted to let her know that, that everything was going to be as you know okay in, in the sense that you know our friendship was going to be okay that I wasn't angry with her because I have you know I've horse played by the pool I've pushed her into the pool before hmm. um, it, it's just an accident no was it smart absolutely not but horse playing by the pool isn't unheard of um, so I, I don't blame her she's not a bad person because of it and I wanted her to know that right in that moment you did that I know that uh... Uh, just a, the, the quote you have that basically uh, you guys redefine friendship and um, these friendships save me is another quote from the book. Here's the book again, The Promise, A Tragic Accident, A Paralyzed Bride, and the Power of Love, Loyalty, and Friendship. And, and these two personify all of that. Chris, Rachel, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. We wish you the best. And uh, maybe Thank the next you. time we talk, it'll be th three of you, right? One big yeah, happy lady. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Guys, thanks again. Really appreciate it.